Hi, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Mitsuko. Today I'm excited because I'm trying on um, a few pieces that I got last month from Nordstrom, some black owned brands from Nordstrom as well. I got some stuff from Maritzia during the um, summer sale. And then what else? I got a few other pieces I will share in the video. But if you're into um, beauty, anything beauty, makeup, skincare, fashion definitely subscribe join the crew and if you're already subscribed thank you so much for watching this video now i just wanted to let you know i will be just trying on these pieces not styling them so i will do that in another video but anyways thank you so much for watching a cute mini shirt dress moment from rotate burger christensen i went a size down with this dress and maybe i should have just kept my size i'm typically a size eight it is really tight and really short I am 5'9", so this dress is right under my bum. Now it's okay, I'll probably just wear it with flats, but I think it's really cute and I'm glad I got it. And I got this one from Hudson Bay. I forgot to mention, she is see-through, so just make sure you have the right underwear. Also, I will link everything in the description box. Okay, clearly you have a thing for long sleeve dresses. And this one is from Romain Berger Christensen. This is the Joy dress. And I got this one at Nordstrom. It was recommended to go a size down, so I did. I got it in a size six and I'm glad because this dress is very loose. Um, so a size six, six is perfect. Now I love the sleeve length, but she is see-through. So just make sure you have the right undergarments. But other than that, I love her. I was on the hunt for the perfect summer shorts and these crisscross denim shorts from a Goldie are beautiful. Now they are 100% organic cotton, comfortable, not too stiff. I did get mine from Nordstrom and in a size 30. Now I do have to take them in but I also have to do that for most of my denim. But I think they're totally worth it. So this pair from a Goldie has been on my wish list since last year and I had to get them. This is the a Goldie crisscross denim jeans. I got them at Nordstrom and this is in a size 30. As you can tell, it is pretty tight um, around my thighs. Now it is supposed to be baggy, but if you have thighs like mine, this probably will happen to you. I think this will loosen up if I'm comparing this to the, um, the shorts, which is exactly the same thing. I think it will loosen up. So I just need to wear it a couple of times and then I'll be good to go. Okay, at this point, I know it's an obsession, but I had to get them in black as well. This is the Agoldi Denim Crisscross Shorts, and I got them at Nordstrom, but this one is in a size 29. As you can tell, it is tighter around my waist and thighs. I still like them, and I'm going to keep them, and um, I'm happy I got them in black. So this sweatshirt is from Coral Studios and this is the Angela Davis University sweatshirt. This is a men's sweatshirt and I got it from Nordstrom and in a size medium. Now, when I saw this online and you had to get it, who would not want to attend this university? Sign me up. Also on Nordstrom.ca, this brand is listed as black owned and founded. The sweat shorts are from Helmut Lang. I bought them at Nordstrom and in a size large. Now they are very comfortable, high waisted, adjustable strap at the waist, which is amazing. Like I said, very comfortable and super soft, so it's a plus. This Power to the People crew neck t-shirt is 100% cotton. I got it in size small. It is unisex, so if you're wondering, a small should be fine if you're around my size, depending on how you want the fit. 
Now it is, um, the artist is Adeshola Makinde. He is Chicago based and his medium is mostly, um, not mostly, his medium is collage and his prints are really nice. And I also got another t-shirt from him and both of them, I got them at Nordstrom. Now this Power to the People crew neck t-shirt is also from Adishola Mekinde and it is black owned. This graphic tee crew neck is from Beffy's Beauty Supply. It is black owned and founded. I got it at Nordstrom. Mine is in a size large and it is 100% cotton so it is very comfortable. I love the fact that it is very simple in the front and then you have the really cool calm graphic in the back. Now the next four tops are all from Aritzia which I purchased during the um, summer sale. And the sale wasn't that big. I think the original price for each of them was maybe 28 and then I got mine for 21 So not a big discount, but it's better than nothing. I mostly got all of them in a large, and I think only the pink one is a, is a medium. But overall, I think they're, they're good for what it is, you know? Like for 21 bucks, I just wanted something simple, something basic. I really wanted a pair of sandals that I could dress up or down, something very comfortable, and I feel like this one fits the bill. My only thing is the leather is really soft, so you just have to be careful when wearing it because you might um, scratch it a little bit, which happened to me. Um, I got mine in the size 10. This one was 25% off, and I got it at L'Interval. Now this is another one from L'Interval. It is very uncomfortable. I got in a size 10, but I don't regret it because it was already on sale. Plus I got 25% off. So don't wear this if you're gonna walk a lot. Give me two purrs cause I need two purrs. <laughs> okay, you know the rest. So I got this pair of Air Force One um, in a store located in Ottawa in the size nine. I think this is unisex, but I'm not sure, but this is probably just men's. How cute is this mini trunk bag from Brendan Blackwood? He is a young designer from New York, so this brand is black owned. I almost didn't purchase this bag because I was shopping on Nordstrom and I put it in my basket, kept shopping, came back and it was gone. I was really disappointed, so I kept checking every day after that just to see if anyone would return it, and someone did. So I was able to get it, and I'm happy I did. Now, you cannot fit a lot in this bag. I cannot fit my phone. I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and I cannot fit it in it. It's almost the same size as the bag, but you can probably fit other things like your cards, lipstick, lip balms, whatever. Um, yeah, I think this bag is worth it. It's a good price point and um, I'm happy. So that's everything that I purchased for the month of June. Now I will be doing these videos more often. 
don't forget to let me know what you think down below in the comment section and then don't forget to like share subscribe if you're not already part of the crew i would really appreciate it also if you already subscribed again thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you next time